2004 Azuzu Ascender with the 4.2 inline six. This is the same engine that came in the Trailblazers and I think a couple Chevy trucks, a couple things. GM put this thing in all, everything. But anyway, they were replacing the thermostat. Let's get to it. First thing we're gonna be doing to access the thermostat, which if you follow this lower radiator hose right here, this big one right here it goes back behind the alternator and to the thermostat so our first step is going to be to remove that alternator to do this first thing we need to do is remove that drive belt so go ahead and grab your drive belt removal tool or just a 3 8 ratchet will do the job too reach down here onto the tensioner put it inside of the square hole on the tensioner And as you apply tension, reach down and pull that belt off of the alternator. And let that tensioner go back. You can leave that tool right there so you don't have to fight it off again. Next, let's go ahead and remove this engine mount. Looks like there's a 10 millimeter here and two 15s maybe. Let me check that. Two 15s. And a 10. back here there is another 15 millimeter got the engine hoist mount removed and that's exactly what this is and I believe that's the only purpose this actually has is for you to put a hook on for when you're removing the engine or reinstalling it so fun now my next question is how many bolts are underneath because it would be pretty cool if it was just one well, I think it is just one bolt down below. What I think is gonna help me access that lower bolt is this three inch extension with a five degree swivel head on it. And what that does is it allows the head to rotate or uh, wiggle just a little bit.
Real quick before I forget, the alternator has the positive side lead on the back of it, and I don't want that to arc out against anything, so go ahead and unplug your negative battery cable. Located right here behind the battery, should be an eight millimeter. And just press that down out of the way. There we go. Now, preferably, I'd like to leave all those wires on the alternator so I don't have to mess around with them. but I don't think I'm gonna have enough room if I don't remove it. So, looks like we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway. Go ahead and remove your connector. It's just one of these pull-up ones. You just grab right here. You just grab right here and pull up on that tab and it'll release it. And this one, be cool if it was a 10. It's a 10. that we now have access to the thermostat and its housing it's this tube right there get yourself a catch can and slide it underneath the engine underneath of where the thermostat is about to be removed from Quick tip, if you ever come across a hose clamp that's facing away from you and you can't get a bite on it, let's see if I can do this and keep it on camera. Get yourself a flathead screwdriver and try to insert it. Get yourself a screwdriver that will fit inside of the slot on the opposing side and pry it and if you get enough force on that you can rotate it on the hose <clears throat> like so there you go I hope I had that on camera. <clears throat> Probably not. And with the facing up top, now we can grab onto it. that housing making sure that our catch can is below to catch all the coolant all right 
I've got my low side hose just tucked out of the way, try to keep as much coolant as possible. And we're gonna go after these 10 millimeter bolts. One right there. And the other one on the opposing side, kind of down below, right there. And switch over. I'm gonna see if my three inch extension will be enough with the deep 10 on it to reach that one in the back. I'm not feeling too confident about it. I think I need like a six inch extension. I think that might be where I'm at. If I go underneath, it's gonna get my impact wet. Oh, I just made it. second bolt Go. and for our new thermostat we're going to be using the car quest 14659 and this will come with the new thermostat and the new giant o-ring that goes around it so if you want to kind of pre-stage this so that when you remove that thermostat you can put this one in it real quick try to save some coolant you can do that I'm probably just gonna drop that thermostat and push this one in. We just pop it and let it fall to the floor. Nah, I'm gonna do it right and pull it out. Of course, the O-ring's still in the way. Go ahead and install this upper 10 millimeter. that down hand tight so we keep as much coolant as possible and I'm gonna push over here see if I can't start the bottom 10 Set, set back up. We're gonna go ahead and put that lower radiator hose back on. That hose clamp is not uh, clamping, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a little uh, one of these slip rings. I'm not doing all this work just to have this thing leak. Nah, I mean. trash slip this one over the hose and reinstall put that down with an eight millimeter
yeah? All right. No more leaks. Perfect. All right. And with everything back together, this should essentially be what you're looking at. Put everything else back together in reverse order, and you're done. You did it. I know you could. I didn't doubt it for a second. If this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.